Incomplete fusion cannot be detected without the use of a non-destructive testing method. Welding procedures are qualified through the use of destructive testing to ensure that the procedure variables do not produce this defect. The final defect to be discussed is inadequate joint penetration or penetration which is less than specified. This defect is commonly located at the root of a weld and generally caused by insufficient heat input while welding, too low of an amperage setting, too long of an arc length, or too much stick out, which also reduces heat input, and too fast a travel speed. Other contributing factors are incorrect joint design or improper preparation of the joint edges. If a root opening is too tight or the groove angles are not wide enough, the weld metal may be restricted, causing lack of penetration at the root. To prevent incomplete penetration, it is necessary to ensure that enough heat is being used on a properly designed joint and that the welder or operator has the skill necessary to produce the desired weld. It is important to control the conditions that cause discontinuities related to internal inconsistencies. And if procedures are carefully written and implemented, most weld defects can be prevented. It is vital, therefore, for welders and inspectors to be familiar with the conditions that exist which may cause a weld or weldment to fail. Many weld failures can be minimized or eliminated if conditions are controlled before, during, and after welding with a well-written procedure and a qualified staff.